In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform RNA-seq analysis using your browser. So what we are going to do is to use the Geo2R environment to perform the RNA-seq analysis. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to visit the Geo2R page. And this is the page. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. All right, so we are on the page that allows us to analyze RNA-seq data sets that have been made available on the Geo database, that's Gene Expression Unibus. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, you have to specify the session ID of that study that you are interested in, all right? Now, let's just say we don't have a study yet. We can search for the study that we want and then get a session ID and then paste it here. So for that, we have to go to the Geo Datasets page itself, which is here. I'll leave the link to this page and question box. So when we are here, you have to search by supplying some terms here or keywords, and then you have hit and you can select the appropriate study. All right. So let's just say we are interested in studies that have been done for zebrafish. All right. So in this area, because we are going to analyze analysis data, we are going to take RNA-6 studies that were done using zebrafish samples. And so I will type zebrafish here. And then I am going to search. So when I search, I'll get the hits here. Now we have lots of hits being returned. We have over 40,000 here. That's a lot. And so ideally what you want to do is to be as specific as possible so that you have fewer lists displayed and you can select the one that you want. And so we can add something else. So let's just say we are interested in cancer studies that have been done using RNA-6 samples from zebrafish. Then we can add the term cancer or tumor, whatever you want or whatever term that is of interest to you. So to do that, you have to go to the advanced, all right, so you don't even need to have the zebra fish typed here. You can just clear it. You have to go to advanced. So click on advanced. And then when you click on advanced, you have another page being display for. So here you can enter your terms or keywords. So I'll start with cancer. I'm interested in cancer studies. And then here you can also select the field, which has that term. So all first attributes, attribute name, etc. So you have to decide what you want, but I'll just leave it as this, right? But later on, you can modify to see the result that come up. And the second entry box here, I'll also use zebrafish. Right, you can also add more. So that one depends on you, but I'll just leave it like this. So once you have entered your terms and you're okay, you can click on search here. So click on search. And then when you click on search, you have some hits returned for you. So you notice now we now have 2,339, right? There has been a drastic reduction in the hits that have been returned. So here you can scroll and then look at the study or studies of your choice. Now for studies that can be analyzed with you, you will find this text here, analyze with you there. So when you find it there, then you can click on this to analyze. So let's just scroll down to search for other studies. We are going to use one example here. So in this tutorial, we are going to use this one. So let's assume that we are interested in this study, minus number 13, all right? So you have to click on the Analyze with you, or you can also just take a note of the session ID. I'll just copy it for the meantime, all right? So you can click on Analyze with you, and then you'll have it displayed for you like this. But if let's say you already know the session ID, like in this case, then you can just come to the Geo to R page itself here, and then you can paste the session ID. Right. I'm going to leave this session ID in the description box. So you can also try with any session ID of your choice. That's fine. So after pasting it here, you can come on sets, come to this side here, sets, this button, and then click it. So when you click it, then you have the data sets being displayed for you. So this is how we start the Geo2R 
process. All right, so let's continue. Now, what you should notice is that one of the primary aims of IRA seek data analysis is to identify genes that have been facially expressed between two or more groups, or we can also say experimental conditions. And so what we need to do here is to define the groups, and then we can assign a data to those groups. So we need to define our groups of interest, and then we can proceed. Let me take you to the page who has the study that generated the data. So there's a page, and I'll leave you into this page in your sketch marks. So in this study, what the authors did was to identify genes and pathways regulated by the long non-coding irony called LETS1. Okay, so the title living tells it all. Okay, so what was done was that the authors overexpressed LETS1 in some cells. And the total RNA was extracted from these cells. And then uh, that was used to generate the data that we see here. Okay. The data that we see here. A control group was also set up. And so what we ultimately have is two groups. Okay, so we have the control group and we also have this group called TGF beta, right? So that has the overexpressed LETS. All right. So we are going to define those groups, okay? So here we will look at groups where we are going to generate groups. So the groups are the ones that have the same label and the genotype and then treatment. So here we have control, 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 control. So this becomes a control group. And then we also have this one here over expression. So with the expression, we are going to look at LETS1 of our expression and then TGF dash beta. So we are going to compare this. Okay, so this and then this. That's what we are going to use. All right. So we are going to define those groups. So that means we will have a total of six samples, three for eight groups. That has also been explained here. Let me just go back to this page. Let's look at this page here. So we have that here. So it says we have three biological replicates we're including each group. All right. So we have that here. So this one group, this and that group. Uh, this and this, those are um, for their internal use and stuff like that. But these are the main groups this and then this so we are going to define them all right now in defining the groups we also need to take into consideration the order in which we define them so a demo has been given here okay the instruction has been given here let's just check to tell us how to define the group so i'll leave that into this video so in the description box. so when you are here just come to this side let's check come to where it says assign samples to it so click it and it will send it to that section so here we see that the control group should be the last to be defined okay so we have the control group here and then we also have the other groups or other group if you have two groups so the control group should be the last group we define that's what i want to emphasize so we are going to do the same okay and then we are we will proceed. Let me just push it out. So let's go back to our page here and define the group. So we will start with the TGF dash beta, okay, where we have the LETS1 over expression. So I'll define that. So I'll click on define groups first, and then I will say TGF dash beta. Then I'm going to hit the enter button. So this will create the group. All right, let's also create another group. That's the control. So that'll be control. All right, so TGM dash beta and control. These are the groups. Okay, so we can click outside. We can even click this one to hide it. We can click it back. That's fine. Okay, so let's do this. For now, let's just get it activated like this. Now we need to assign data to the groups the various groups so that's what we are going to we are going to start with the tgf data so to assign data to the groups 
you need to highlight the data all right so here this is the tgm dash beta that's over express lts1 okay their cells so we are going to click on each of them so click on one and then you will see this color indication has been highlighted now press your control button and then click on the other ones as well so we have that here so after that click on the group that you want to assign the data to so here is tgf dash beta so i'll click it and that's done so now you will see that we have the number here three samples now let's also assign data to the control group so for that one it will be this one here so i'll click now I'll click and I'll click so i have three i will now click on control to assign that also there so we now have three samples you also notice the colors all right so each group has a different background color all right but if you click you still have this color coming up this particular color here which is yellow or something like that indicates that a particular data has been highlighted that's what it means okay it doesn't necessarily mean that you have assigned it to a group so if you click on a different data the color that was assigned to it based on this group will still be shown for you all right so you should always have this color you should note the color that has been assigned to the groups so that you don't get confused all right so we have our groups okay so we have them there now we can proceed so let's hide the groups again and by the way you can also destroy the groups or delete the groups so that's something you can do here but i'll leave it we are done everything is fine so i'll click on this to hide it again and i'll scroll down to this button here, analyze so click on analyze and when you click it analysis will start so what we have to do is to wait for the analysis to be done for us so let's wait it will be quick for us we are using the geo to our server so we don't have any problem so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay the analysis has been done for us so we can proceed so we have some plots here and we also have the table for the top differential explosions okay so with the differential expressions, what the due to us about does is that it picks the top 250. Okay, so you can use threshold. I think the default threshold it uses is the PISL value. So it uses that to sort in order. So we, it's sorted in order in increasing order. So from smallest to the largest, and then it picks the top. Yes, so here the default is 250 that's what it picks okay so that's what you need to note if you are using your own pieces for analysis you can also include other thresholds maybe you can combine pure adjacent values to log two for change okay you can also set thresholds for those ones as well all right so for thresholds you have to decide what works best for you you can contact the expert you can also check the best practices or what is being used in your domain all right of course, it's ironistic analysis, all right? So visualizations are also important. So here we have some visualization that you can use and then compare your samples to each other and also explain the results, okay? So a detailed explanation of this plot is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but we can still explore it. So this is a volcano plot. So you can click and then you will see it here. So we have our two groups up and down regulated. We have them here. Okay. And we also have, let's just close it. We also have this one here. Okay. Which also gives us some plots as well that we can compare. So we have that. And we also have Yuma plots. There are plots, lots of plots that you can use, and you can also do all those things in R. By the way, you can click to check this a box plot. You also have a histogram for the PLS values. Okay, you also have this and stuff like that. So you can just check all these ones. 
you can also come to profile graph so when you click it you can enter a gen symbol and then the profile will be basically for you let's just check one of them let's use let's say this one this elf3 this is the top gen the top okay so elf3 you can just look it up here you can see elf3 then we can click on sets so when you click it the resolution will be given to you so here we see there's the control this is the tdf transmitter that's the source for the vice press lets one so we see that this one is down regulated all right when you check it's log two fortune it's negative indicating it's down regulated all right so that's the most significantly expressed gen it's down regulated okay so you can use the profiles to check the gen stats you are interested in you can also download the annotation okay, so there are options you can also change okay so there are parameters you can set okay so these parameters will now be factored into the statistical test that will be done to identify the differential express gens all right so you can play with that as well and there's also this R script so the R script lets you know behind the scenes what was done okay, for the differential expression analysis basic tool is used and so the due to R automatically creates the R script and then uses that for analysis so if you want to download the R script you can also download it here and then use it all right so that's what you need to know okay so that's about it I think I'm going to make another tutorial to where I explain these codes. And so I will download the data and I'm going to run R on my local PC and then I will explain these commands as well. All right, so that's about it. Let's check and then see. Yeah, so this is it. And then you can also reanalyze. You can use this. That's also fine. I mean, now it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Okay, so that's about it. So that's it for this tutorial. Now, after getting your differential expressions, you can also perform part two analysis. And I'm currently working on a tutorial on that. So once I'm done, it will be displayed at the end of this video as well. So that'll be all for this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next session.